Hey everyone, my name is Corey, and today we're going to be looking at another package within the Google NIC collection. So what we're going to be looking at is probably my favorite tool, and it's called Define2. And basically what it's used for is to denoise an image. And so this is my favorite just because I do a lot of night photography and night filming. And it's super easy to use, and again, it's free. Well, if you have Photoshop, it's free. So what we're going to do, I'm going to open up a image here and make a copy. And so this image here is a long exposure on the side of the road. So these light streaks are just cars going by. So if you don't know what long exposure is, it's essentially just the shutter will stay open for in a period of time, in this case it was 30 seconds, so this is essentially 30 seconds of light. So you can imagine that on a highway these cars are going to go by and the camera is going to pick up all the little um, moments of the car traveling. So it makes for some really interesting um, composition. But the only problem with this image is that there's a lot of noise, and that's partly my fault. When I took the um, exposure shot, the ISO was set a little bit too high. Um, basically, you need to want to set that ISO as low as you can and change the aperture and shutter before you do that. So that's just a little photography tip. So if we zoom in on the image, and we can see, especially around this area here, there's a lot of noise. Um, and again, that's just because the ex the sensor's exposure to light was a little bit too high, and it was too sensitive, and you create this noise grain. But Google, uh, the Nick collection, has a pretty cool tool called Define2. So if we go under Filter, and go under the Nick collection, click on Define2, open up this dialog box here and the first thing you'll notice is that when you move around you s in the loop again you'll see kind of this red bar here and what this is is kind of like a before and after of certain points of your image so this is really cool um, you can move it around and see how denoising is actually going to change your image you can again pin to a certain location if you want to look to a certain spot um, but what we're going to do is uh, we're not we're going to do okay reset what we're going to do is we have to first create our noise profile essentially something that we want to um, say is noise and then the algorithm will go ahead and take out all of the you know uh, comparable sections of noise that it can see and so I'm going to go ahead and use manual mode if you want you can use automatic mode but what I'm going to do is I'm going to select an area where I think has the highest abundance of noise. And so I think it's kind of right above this area of light here. And so I'm going to click on this little add rectangle and maybe make it a little bit smaller. And so what I'm going to do then is hit uh, measure noise. And so what it's going to do now is it's going to say, OK, this area here is the noise and basically just take everything else out. It's the same thing if you're doing audio in, our, on, in Audacity and similarly in Sony Vegas or Premiere if you're removing noise from video. So once we click that it'll say that a manual profile has been applied and so what you can do is you can save it, you can use this for later, or you can load an existing one. So the first thing we'll see is um, it'll kind of give you the default settings to reduce the noise. The um, reducing the noise essentially just adds um, some blur in place. So now if you look at the image, especially around the grass area, maybe the fence, and uh, directly around this kind of like point of light, there's some blur. And it looks a little bit too smooth. So what we can do is we can go in and actually change these settings by going to the Reduce tab. And again, um, something really useful, you can use the loop um, area and basically look at certain segments and see how changing these settings is actually going to change the outcome of the image. So I'm going to go ahead and pinpoint a certain location, let's say right here, and um, car contrast noise is what is adding a lot of the blur. So I'm going to go ahead and reduce that just a little bit but we still want to have the effect of the noise reduction so we don't want to go down too much. Um, for me I would say around 85 to 90 percent contrast noise is good. See if you go all the way up you'll see how it looks a little bit too cartoony um, pretty much everywhere. 
So I'm going to go to a little bit around 90. Let's go straight to 90. Color noise, in my case, I don't really have to touch it that much um, because there's not really any color noise. I pretty much just have uh, darkness noise. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that at 100%. And so that's pretty much it, honestly. It's so easy to use and it's so powerful. So, um, yeah, that's it. We're going to hit OK and we're going to look at a before and after. So, go ahead and add the filter. Um, cool. So, if we look before and after, we can see everything looks a little bit blurred, but you can definitely see that it's a very realistic image. Everything just kind of looks. Um, a little bit smoother and a little bit uh, just overall pretty pretty good. So that's pretty much it for this, guys. Um, again, this is really easy to use, and it's free if you have Photoshop. Um, so go ahead and take a look at it if you would like. Um, so this has been Corey from the Techies. Thank you for watching.